So please, just get the damn vaccine. Governor Hogan getting right to the point, also saying unvaccinated Marylanders are the reason for the surge in new COVID cases. Thanks for staying with WJZ tonight. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, while the governor says he is not issuing a statewide mask mandate, beginning Monday, masks will be once again required in Baltimore City. That's right. A citywide mandate going to require people, regardless of vaccination status, to mask up when inside. And WJZ live in Fells Point at 5.30 tonight, Kelsey Kushner with reaction to the Mayor's big announcement. Kelsey. Denise, Rick, well, we're hearing a lot from both sides, really. Some people say they understand why the mayor had to make this decision. Other people say they feel as though we're taking a major step in the wrong direction. I saw it coming. I think a lot of people saw it coming. The mask mandate is back in Baltimore. It's frustrating. Mayor Brandon Scott reinstated the mask mandate in the city starting Monday at 9 a.m. And the announcement is getting mixed reviews. It'll protect people from getting the new variant, but it also feels like we're taking a step back. They got to put the mask on. I mean, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. As the Delta variant continues to sweep the nation and COVID cases climb here in the state, both vaccinated and unvaccinated people will have to mask up. Some fear it will hit the service industry hard. But it keeps a lot of us that rely off tips, especially uh, right now, uh, in a bad position. So it's a little nerve wracking. Others say it will save lives. Fortunately, I see maybe it's going to get worse. We have to do what we have to do. Now, the mayor says that masks must be worn indoors and in areas of high transmission. The city says they're hoping that this mask mandate and their push to get people vaccinated will help stop the spread. Reporting live in Fells Point, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.